You know, I wasn't going to make a video over this, but I thought it was something interesting to talk about. Have I missed my mark to make content and grow as a content creator? Let's talk about it. So hello friends, welcome to another YouTube video. My name is Vampress Violet and this is my channel. I have a mod podge of things going on in my life and basically just trying to figure out my content creation process. So this is my first ever discussion video, but I'm in this weird slump in creating content because I don't feel like I have a niche and has got me thinking that I've missed my chance in life to flourish and grow in a way that I have imagined for myself. And maybe you've clicked on this video for the same reasons. I want to discuss this topic. There's no rhyme or reason why I decided to go ahead and make this video other than trying to push outside my comfort zone. And also too, to try and make sense as to what I'm going through and maybe me talking about this might help you somewhere along these lines. The reason this comes up is because I honestly, for the life of me, I feel like I have missed my mark because I'm so late into the game. I grew up from a family that wasn't very fortunate, but was fortunate at the same time on a lot of things. We grew up with that time where it went from something very simple to something very complex real quick, really fast. <laughs> and I'm still learning so much about the internet and seeing how far I'm behind in a lot of this has really put a lot on my mind of it have i missed my mark i'm not saying that i have but i feel like i have i feel like i failed in some type of way i feel like yeah that, that's basically it. i feel like i've i failed i failed at what i wanted to do i set a huge high standard for myself and i feel like a lot of us do that but it's good to do that in a way to kind of make a plan to go for it but with my social anxiety and just just in general just not being brave enough to just go after what I want to do it's really put a lot of pressure on myself that shouldn't be there and so this is pretty much where we're at with you know me making this video so me and my friend were having this discussion last night which was the 14th or early 15th I don't remember yeah it was early in the morning of uh Tuesday, January 15th, when we were talking about this, he was falling asleep at the time, but I just wanted to kind of get it off my chest. And I really wish I would have recorded it because some of these conversations that we have together kind of make sense in a way to us anyways, kind of like breaking it down. Granted, I might do more of the talking than he does, but you know, he's a good listener and he does give his input when he wants to. But taking that i feel like i've missed my mark on a lot of fronts again being a content creator for seven years now uh you think i would have made more progress content creating for my channel and i know a lot of people out there who give advice generic advice on some cases but advice in general for content creating it's this i don't really want to say it's toxic it might be toxic. I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't want to assume to make an ass out of myself, but let's just say I assume that it is toxic to be on this grind mentality. And in a way, it works for people, and in other ways, it doesn't work for people. Nowadays, everyone's a content creator. It doesn't matter who the hell you are. It doesn't matter how cheaply it's made or how I guess clickbaity is the term I'm looking for <laughs> it is it seems like anybody and everybody's got something they want to say but a lot of those people some content creators there that are great and then there's other things that are just like pure fucking bullshit and then you've got creators out there who are constantly on the grind this like toxic grind that's making them go in this like this circle this 180 circle like they're a dog chasing their tail if you can imagine that like that's what they are and that's their that's you're getting entertainment from that dog chasing their tail because it's funny and then there's like a billion other people doing the exact same thing and it's just like mindless scrolling and things like that and it's just i don't know i've gotten caught up in it a few times with youtube shorts of mindless scrolling and i'm just like 
what am I doing with my life? <laughs> for me, it's not working because I have a part-time job and then I come home for like my three, four days off of work and I'm doing more work. And that's trying to push, you know, YouTube content out, trying to push stream content out, which I haven't streamed since the beginning of this year, like I had planned to. And a lot of it is trying to reevaluate myself and my content, what I'm wanting to achieve with my content and so on and so forth. The internet is growing up with you, but as the internet grows up, it's like the internet is growing up so fast that you can't catch up. And that's how I feel in a way that, that makes me feel like I've missed my mark. I want to make this a career in some way, shape or form. If it's just a stepping stone or what have you, or if I continue to do this long term. I enjoy making videos. I enjoy seeing your guys' reaction. I enjoy you guys liking the video and subscribing and everything else like that. Which, by the way, if you haven't already, please like the video if this has been helpful so far, or at the end of this video, if you like this video, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Um, and if you want to see more content like this in the future, hit that subscribe and click the notification bell to get more information of videos like these in the near future. I enjoy making content. I enjoy producing something. It doesn't have to be anything fantastic. It doesn't have to be anything, you know, noteworthy, so to speak. But it feels like what I've wanted to be noticed for isn't what I'm technically being noticed for. You know, I love to draw and I'm, I was looking back about a week ago. Yeah, a week ago at my older drawings. And then I looked at the drawings that I did nowadays and I'm just like, where has my talent gone? <laughs> like what happened to me and i have to blame it on you know college i mean i don't necessarily have to blame it on college but it seems like as soon as i went to college like everything from that point on has been has like zapped my creative spirit has zapped my artistic ability away from me and it's taken me almost seven years <laughs> to try to get that back. And I feel like I've gotten it back somewhat. It's not entirely back, but it's back to a point. It's it's not at, a, at its grander in my opinion. I feel like a lot of my creativity and a lot of like my outlook on life kind of disappeared, but opened up at the same time when I went to college. From what I can see right now in my life, I've needed to stop for a while now to actually see like where my content is, what content is doing well, and how to move forward with that knowledge and make it better and improve upon what I've already built with my following. And I hate saying the term that I'm a small content creator, but at this moment in time, I am a small content creator, but the people that stuck around this far, I generally appreciate that, thank you. Thank you so much. Even on my Twitch channel, it's been hard since they've gotten rid of, you know, Twitch discoverability. I started streaming on Twitch with just an Xbox and a decent microphone uh, to my laptop so I could see the chat. And that's how I was streaming. Doing pretty well. And I was very, very proud of myself for streaming as long as I had. But it's been like almost, almost five years now since streaming on Twitch. But I've been on and off. And I've only streamed about almost a full year in 2018 consecutively. And then in 2019, 2020 and 2021, I was streaming consecutively as much as I could, as much as possible. And I was making a little bit of money here and there. I'm trying to stay with a consistent schedule on streaming and doing uploads and content creations and things like that. Me talking about me missing my, my moment as a content creator. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I've missed it. You know, I was starting to grow. I was starting to communicate. I was in a couple of discords that I was very fond of, but like views and the way people were being treated and other things of the sort that was kind of getting weird, I guess is the best term I can give it, putting me off on being in the communities. So I left the communities and it's like, since I've left those communities, I've kind of went back into my shell. If I were like a tortoise or a turtle. I've kind of went back into my comfort zone to just being isolated as this like scared cat or just some type of scared animal. That's what it feels like. And then if it feels like somebody trying to 
interact with you, it scares you. My friend is on the sidelines trying to help me, trying to cheer me on. And I appreciate that. And then you will have people like my my partner that'll argue it's not a career unless you're making money from it. It's not a career unless you're getting a consistent paycheck from it. That that's that's his views on it. He's told me this is just a hobby. And yes, it is a hobby. It's a hobby I want to turn into a career. That's what I want to do. My mom doesn't understand a lot of what goes on into the internet. She basically just uses it to play her mobile games that we used to play on PC when she first got a PC and they were just CD disc, <laughs> which is like her virtual villagers. She loves virtual villagers and it's a way to be able to communicate and to see ideas and to consume content. So she knows she knows the basic understandings of it, but she doesn't understand the whole concept into it and she's there supporting me no matter what I want to do and I appreciate that a lot I know we've got way off subject I wanted to include that in here long story short yes I feel like I've missed my mark but also no and the reason being is because I haven't had a chance to actually step back look at everything I've created seeing what's trending what's popular on my channel if i found my niche finding your niche is hard there's a few ways you can do this a few ways that you can find your niche but for the most part most people will tell you the best thing you can do is to just start creating just start doing it no questions no rhyme no reasons just do it it's hard it will always be hard but the best thing you can do is research and do it with me right now, a lot of reasons why I wanted to talk about this is because I don't feel like I'm growing. I mean, I am, but I'm not. I'm trying to find a better way to hold viewer retention, but I'm also trying to showcase my art. I'm also trying to showcase my streams and I'm trying to showcase like me being able to eventually sell art and merch and other things like that. Do it for fun because the more you have fun, the more you'll start attracting people. And I feel like it's kind of cliche to say that, but then again, it's not. Because it seemed like when I was having fun in the early days of me streaming and in the now of me doing YouTube videos and things like that, of finding things like I like to do, I love to do character creations. Those are my favorite things to do <laughs> in video games. You got character creation, damn Skippy, I'm gonna be on it. <laughs> for like three plus hours creating my character because <laughs> there's so much you can do <laughs> because I find it interesting you know like if I'm going to be able to create my own character I want to be able to create a character that I can imagine in that world yes it'll probably still have the name Violet or Vampress or Vamp or some type of that alliteration into it or irradiation it'll display it on screen <laughs> into the game that I can create myself into it I'm gonna do it. What I'm getting at is I love to create. I love to create art. I love to create videos. I love to stream. I love to hang out with my best friend. I know it'll take time to grow. I just feel like I'm just in this giant bowl shape, if you can imagine, from Ice Age. We'll take that as an example from, I believe it was, what was the name of that movie? Is it Continental Drift? Oh dear, I think I'm getting my Ice Ages mixed up. It was the Meltdown, that's what it was. Where they were like in this bowl shape, ice cubes and the water started to like break and then fill up and all that. That's basically what it feels like for me right now. Like I'm in this giant slump at the bottom, just drowning. And it seems like I have no air to get up to breathe until somebody grabs me and pulls me up. And this is kind of like my wake up call since I haven't been streaming, but I still have been producing, you know, YouTube content, at least for now, to kind of see where I'm at, what I'm doing, why I feel like this. Just try to see if I have missed my moment in content creating. I know there's a lot of people out there that probably have the same feeling. It's like, have I missed my mark? Am I trendy enough? Am I doing what everybody else is doing. I feel like 
I feel like TikTok has a lot of potential, but it's like the same regurgitation, if I'm able to use that word correctly. <laughs> it, it feels like it's regurgitating on itself over and over again. It's like this, it's different people creating somewhat of the same content, but it's regurgitation. It's like using the same songs, uh, following this like trend. And don't get me wrong, trends are great. It, it's a great way to like see different aspects from different people and regurgitating that content ain't a bad thing. Um, even regurgitating your own content to kind of make new light on it and stuff is a great thing. What I'm getting at is it gets repetitive and more repetitive and more repetitive and it's like, okay, what's the next big trend that's gonna pop up? I wanna do like TikTok. I wanna do, you know, other things, but I don't know how to make short videos. I don't know how to make it to where it can be eye-catching. And that's something that I'm looking into because I would like to do things like that to be able to kind of help promote my channels elsewhere to like my YouTube channels and other things like that and do YouTube shorts. I think YouTube shorts would be better than doing TikTok, but TikTok's an option. It's not like I don't want to grow my social media. I want to grow my social media, but I don't know if I'm in the correct mindset, if that makes sense, or the correct way of thinking anymore as of right now i'm taking a back from my streaming for right now but i do plan on coming back as soon as i can but yeah have i missed my my moment in content as a content creator yes and no that's that's the too long didn't read scenario um my tldr <laughs> so other than that like it's it's just taking the time to just stop what i'm doing and jump back and evaluate everything and that's what i think i'm gonna do continuing going forward that's why i haven't been streaming that's why kind of like i've only been uploading two videos every month which is a video every two weeks so there should be at least 26 videos this year on on youtube that's that's my goal right now is just to do that um, so I'm sorry if this is all over the place. I apologize. Yeah, I, I think that's where I'm gonna end it for now. If I think of anything else, I'll probably add it in. Let me know what you guys think of yourselves if you've missed your mark. If you think you've missed your mark as a content creator, if you're content creating. If you're not content creating, where do you think a lot of creators fail at content creating as a viewer, as your viewpoint? Where do you think people fail? the most at content creating. I feel like a lot of people, in my opinion, fail as a content creator, not getting out of this mentality of being on a grind. Like, try to slow it down a little bit. You know, you've got time. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, please give it a thumbs up to show some of your support. Also, again, don't forget to leave your comments down below of what I asked you guys to comment about. And maybe there'll be more videos like this in the future of just talking. That's the end of this video. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to stay baddie. See you next time. Bye.